He's back! He's back! Lock Rose is back! I really need to stop doing that. Hello everybody, I've been away for a while and I'm really sorry. Real life kind of got in the way. Really boring stuff. I did have plans to make videos across Christmas, but my computer broke. Annoyingly, excuses I know, but I'm back. And what everyone is here for today, build update. Currently you may hear, but my voice is kind of killing me. I'm, I'm losing it quite a bit and I probably sound really ill. I definitely feel it, but we're going to fight through this. Because I love you guys, um, so like the running theme of things, um, because I haven't been present for the last few months on the server, I deserve absolutely no credit for what you're about to see. The amazing people, and you can find a link to them in the description, is our build team that have built all of this. Um, and of course you can apply for the build team as well, I'd love to see you on the server. So today we are showing off the new and improved Minus Morgul 3.0, because the first two kinda sucked and um, currently the available currently it isn't available for download but the other two are available for download that's what I was trying to say and if you're interested you can download them and try it out for yourself um, if you want to obviously explore this one then you could either apply for the server and become a builder on the server or you can just wait for us to release it as we will do in normal time but um, I'm going to show you around the map today all the important points of interest. I'm sure at a later stage I will also release a cinematic flyover, showing it off in maybe a bit more detail. Or maybe this is a bit more detail. We'll see. Uh, you're just going to put up with my whiny commentary today. So we're going to start at the best place to start, the start, and we're going to show off the bridge. And you can see here the detail that's been put into the lake. The water here has got so much detail, you can see it looks very poisonous. Like if I go into this water, I will surely die. And the islands on here look really, really cool. It, there's so much detail just putting into uh, making this. Is, is that a boat? I don't know whether this is going to last, but I just want to see what this is. Okay, so this looks like a, a boat um, with lots of people on it. Uh, lots of these people are builders on the server. I'm not going to list out everyone's head, although I do recognise a lot of you. It's just going to take too much time. But let's fly over to the gate and you can see how much detail has been put into the gate compared to the first two. This is incredible when it comes to detail. Just look at that. And you can see the tower off in the background trying to render. But, um, oh, of course, the Nazgul. This Nazgul is incredible. I love the wings. The fact that they've used stained glass for the wings is really, really, really cool. Um, makes it transparent. I think it puts a lot more emphasis on the Nazgul and it seems to be perched on one of the towers. Um, the fact that there's just this here alone just makes it so much better. But let's go and make a bit of a move. So we've got a barricade pushing through the door and I like the way that there's just like a small hole here um, and we can move through to here and we have the gate flag. So I imagine the reason why they've got that there is because this map may possibly, I can't guarantee anything, it's up to Tim to make the decision, but might be used for the Empire War Siege server, maybe, maybe, up to Tim, speak to him, um, and this would be the flag, the first flag for the main gate, should you wish to capture that, um, in fact you're going to need to capture it if you want to win, and to get there, um, I imagine you're going to, oh, okay, I was going to say you've got to climb up there, I don't know how you get to it, ah, uh, maybe, I don't know, there should be a way to find... Uh, someone tell me how to get to the main gate. I'm not too sure. But let's go on forward. Uh, the courtyard. So these are some of the interior designs that we have going on. Um, some sort of courtyard here. Um, a side building. And these are all ruins. So obviously this used to be a city and it is left in desolate ruins. So instead of being completely empty, we have buildings which have been partially destroyed. And there's another flag there. Uh, the courtyard flag and there's lots of these ruins we're just going to walk through some of them and we have another gate uh, maybe you have to bash on this one as well who knows um and this is the main courtyard and i just want to show off how big this place is it is absolutely enormous 
and a lot of these have interior as well so it's a good hiding place maybe you're an archer and you climb all the way up to the top of one of these buildings and shoot someone from the side who knows oh what's over here I think that's just another gate I think that's where I came in actually it'll be very likely where I came in on here we have a lot of catapults and interesting things I'd just like to also point out that a lot of this isn't finished um, there still needs more work to be put into it um, I imagine there's going to be more stuff along here maybe just having these sort of details going all the way across um, I'm not too sure I haven't actually spoken to the people who are leading the build but um, that's probably what they're going to have planned for them I would assume but I'm just making assumptions so um, I kind of want to explore the tower I haven't seen the tower yet um, I've been told that it's not fully interiored, but this looks pretty well interiored to me. Um, that is very, very nice. I like this. I imagine maybe when we get further to the top, it's not interiored. But so far, I'm liking what I see. Um, let's keep going up. Okay. Um, this is sort of like the interior I kind of did with um, Isengard. Um, it wasn't really very flashy, but it would just be stuff like this every so often that sort of it is not so much interior but it kind of feeds the place out and I think when we get to here maybe it can use a little bit more loving um, it just seems to be the um, main structure but um, uh, we must be getting near to the top there's another flag there that's either halfway up or near the top I'm not too sure how high up we are now um, we must be getting near to the top now we keep running up oh gosh long way Keep going. There's more to see, so we need to get this over and done with. Come on, near to the top. Come on, keep going. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. Yeah, we've got to be getting close now. Keep going. Yeah, this definitely needs some interior. But down below, I think it's absolutely fine. Oh, what's this here? Um, nothing really. And here we go. We're at the top. And there'll be a flag capture point there, I'm sure. And, of course, we have the beacon. Okay, so that is the main tower. But there is also more to see on here. There's a few things here. Most of them aren't too interesting. Um, it's just, you know, Tim's hiding spot here. That's where he lives. Um, not really too sure how we meant to get to it. Um, but let's go explore Sherlock's lair. So let's try and fly over here and wait for the place to load. Um, and I need to try and find it. Okay, here we go. So, um, imagine I'm on foot because I cannot be bothered to climb all the way up to the top. But uh, the entrance is right about here. And there is a staircase running all the way down from the bottom. But that would take absolutely ages to climb, I'm sure. But once you get up to the top, you'll be presented with something a little bit like this. And it's very dark, so I'm going to use a splash vision of night vision. Now across here we have lots of heads, um, I think most of these are builders, um, I think these are friends of builders as well. Um, I'm not going to go around and list all the names of all the heads because I will be here for a lifetime as there is so many, apart from skeletons, lots of skeletons, reusing that head a lot. Okay, so I need to try and find my way to the main area to find Sherlock, um, there we go. Everything you join in the dark side still wonders. I don't care. I deserve. Ah. <laughs> okay, we'll ignore that. Um. I know my head is here somewhere. I'm not really too sure where though, but it is here somewhere. I'm sure. Um. I need to try and find my way around. Um. I imagine I'm going to get easily lost here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, and we've just found the way out again. Um, you know, let's just cheat for the purpose of the video. Um, I'm sure I can find it normally if I wanted to, but we just fly over. And here we go, we've found Shelob. And he seems to be eating uh, most of the moderators, at least most of these seem to be moderators, or admins, or people. Um, Slime Girl being eaten, and we've got Tim webbed up. Only God, farmer. Um, where am I? Okay, so this is okay. Okay, so I don't really know where I am. I need to find my head. It's here somewhere. I oh, here we go. Here we go. There I am. I'm in the corner. I'm still alive. 
I'm safe. Safe. Yeah. And there's lots of other people around me here too. Okay, so what else is there to see? Well, there's more in the Shut Up Slayer. There's a lot of secret areas. But um, to be honest, I don't know my way around that well. So I'm going to struggle to be able to find them for you. However, there is one more thing I need to show you. Isn't he cute? He's a cute little troll. Um, that's not really um, what I was here to show you. But it is quite cool. And I thought I'd just throw it in. But if we go across down here, and I hope I'm going to be able to find it okay. I think it's this way. And we have some pumps. We have a very... Oh. Oh. I thought I was going to the sewers, but I guess not. So I got completely lost, which is something very easy to do on this map. Um, but here we have the sewers with Still Wonders, who lives down here. Yeah, he's never been the same. He hasn't seen daylight in quite a while. Just look there and you'll see daylight. No, you won't because we're on Miss Morgul. Um, so let's just carry on going and try and see if we can find anything interesting. Okay, I think this is the entrance to the sewers. Um, possibly. Maybe. Um, I mean, the entrance we found was just, you know, a well. Um, but if we carry on going this way, we might find the entrance. Yes, we have. Um, this is the entrance. Um not easy to spot and easily to get confused um so this is massive this pretty much goes throughout the entire map uh, underneath of course and we can easily get lost in here because it's quite a bit of a maze um not really too sure which way to go but you get the you get the kind of idea lots of cool stuff to explore uh, I won't be showing you everything because I need to leave something for it to be downloaded and explored. Uh, as of course, I need to mention again, it's not fully finished either. And a download will not come out until it's fully finished. And once that does happen, I'll release a cinematic and um, you can enjoy it for yourself. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, give it a like and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And if this is your first time here, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.